Hi everyone and welcome to this Pilates class using the mini band and today I have quite a heavy one but use what you have at home go with your own level that's what's nice about the resistance band is that you can go lighter or you can go heavier if you want more resistance so you can kind of make the workout your own and we're going to get started on our mats come down to the middle of your mat and then grab the back of your thighs lengthen the spine and then roll back vertebra by vertebra using your legs as assistance onto your back bring the heels in a bit closer and then you're going to take your band around your wrists okay so make sure it's secure there lengthen your arms towards the ceiling and feel that resistance on the band now before we make any movement i want you to think about stabilizing the scapula or the shoulder blades so keep in a neutral spine and then on your exhale we're going to pull that band apart inhale bring it back to center exhale pull it apart feel that core connection as you pull that band apart exhale inhale back to center feel the scapula trying to stabilize as you make these movements getting into the arms waking them up for today's class let's go for another three last two arms or hands are directly above the shoulders last one pull it apart come back to center keep that resistance on the band the whole time we're going to bring the elbows down towards the mat tap lift inhale tap exhale lift but you're keeping the resistance on that band the whole time so your arms are working very hard shoulder blades are stabilizing let's go for another four three two belly button to spine last one take the arms up overhead now when you do this i want you to make sure that you're not flaring in the ribs so you're sliding the ribs down towards the hips keeping that rib to hip connection that core connection and then you're going to bring your arms back up to the ceiling inhale lower it down exhale lift keeping that resistance on the band feeling a little bit of elevation as you take those arms overhead elevation in the shoulders very good let's go for another three two resistance on the band more resistance the harder your work last one and then we're going to take the arms overhead we're going to add an ab curl so you're going to exhale bring the arms up overhead lifting the upper torso off the mat gaze towards the thighs inhale lower it back down exhale lift remember no popping in the abs as you bring those arms up overhead you're keeping that core connection ribs are sliding down towards the hips you're drawing that belly button in towards the spine so you're keeping that intra-abdominal pressure the whole time let's go for another five last four you're in a neutral spine last three two one take the arms back overhead we're going to add a twist so you're going to exhale lift and twist towards the right pull the band inhale lower back down arms come overhead exhale lift and twist to the left so we're alternating sides each time we're getting into the obliques contralateral obliques that's opposite side obliques perfect let's go for another four three two last one bring the arms back overhead lift and twist towards the right now we're going to do little pulses with the arms so we're going to pull that band apart give me about five here so 
Exhale as you pull that band apart. Inhale as you come back to center. Very good. Feel the tension on the band. Stay up in the core. Inhale, lower it back down. Exhale, lift to the other side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull that band apart. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, pull it apart. Back to center. Very good. Let's go for another two. One more. Arms come back towards the ceiling. I want you to imprint that spine towards the mat so that there's the tuck under of the pelvis. Bring your legs to tabletop one at a time. And then we're going to do some toe taps. So keep the back press flat to the mat. You're going to inhale, lower one foot to the mat. Exhale, lift it back up. Inhale, lower the other foot. Exhale, lift it back up. So just use that breath to lift that leg back up and using your core to lift that leg back up. Perfect. Keep that tension on the band. We're going to level up. So if you want to, you can extend the leg long. Exhale, bring it back in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull it in. Using that core to pull that leg back in. Belly button to spine. Very good. Okay, let's go for another three, two, last one. I want you to lift up into your ab curl now, staying up in your tabletop position. You're going to extend the left leg, bring your arms towards the right, that bent leg. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, switch. So we're getting into the obliques again. And I want you to think of lifting and twisting. So you're not just twisting, you're also lifting that upper torso into those obliques. Very good. Let's go for another two. Last one. Lower the head and the neck back down. Take one foot to the mat at a time and then release that band. We're going to take the band now over our right foot and left thigh. So bring that left foot to the mat. That right foot is up at tabletop. Take your hands behind your head. Exhale, lift up into your abco, intra-abdominal pressure, and you're keeping that belly button to spine. Okay, you're going to exhale, press that band up. Inhale, bring it back to center. So using those legs, to press that band out. Make sure that that band is secure. Really lengthen through the legs, flexing the foot, staying up in the ab curl, gaze towards your thigh. Very good. Let's go for another four. Head is just resting in your hands. You're not pulling on your neck. Last two. Last one. Okay. Now, we're going to bend it in. You're going to exhale, press it out and twist towards that bent leg. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lift and twist. Getting into those obliques again. Working very hard. Let's go for another four. Stay with me, lengthen through that leg. Last two. Last one. Bring it back in, rest that head down, take the band around the left foot, right thigh. Bring the right foot down, hands behind the head, and then you're going to lift up into your ab core on your exhale. Okay, I want you to extend that left leg and bend it back in. Exhale, extend, inhale, bend it back in. Staying up in the ab curl, gaze towards the thighs, sliding the ribs down towards the hips, making sure that you're not popping in the abs. Let's go for another four. Last three. Two. One. Bend it back in. Now we're going to add the twist. So you're going to extend the leg, twist towards that bent leg. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lift and twist. 
contralateral obliques. Very good. Stay with me. You can feel a nice burn in your abs. Last four. Three. Two. One. Release. Release that head down. Take the band now around your thighs and you're going to bring your legs up to tabletop make sure the back is pressed flat to the mat take your hands behind your head exhale lift up into your ab curl and then we're just going to pull the band apart with our legs so we're going to abduct the legs so you're going to exhale pull it apart keeping that core connection belly button to spine the core is really working hard to stabilize let's go for another three Last two, gaze towards the thighs. Last one, hold, hold, hold. Bring it back in, lower the head and neck down. Take one foot down to the mat at a time. I want you to bring the feet about mat distance apart now. We're gonna come into a wide bridge. So you're gonna exhale, lift the hips, or the pelvis off the mat, inhale, lower it back down. Exhale, lift. Now, when you come up into your bridge, I want you to make sure you're sliding the ribs down towards the hips. Slight tuck under of the pelvis so you're not flaring up in the ribs. Press through those heels. Engaging the glutes, engaging the hamstrings and the outer thighs. Let's go for another four, three, two, last one, hold it up. Abduct the legs, bring it back. So pull that band apart with the thighs, then bring it back. When you pull it apart, I want you to make sure that you're not dipping the hips. So you're pulling it apart and you're not dropping the hips. You're keeping the hips level on the same plane, not moving them up and down. Let's go for another four. This doesn't seem like much at the moment, but it's going to burn. Last three two one lower the glutes down exhale lift and open inhale close and lower so follow your breath stay with me you're going to feel a nice burn in the glutes right now and we're really going to burn out the glutes in today's class doing some nice bridges and some sideline work it's going to be a quick but effective class Let's go for another three, two, last one, open the legs, close, hold it up here, little pulses up with the glutes, little exhales as you pulse up, pressing through those heels, last four, three, two, one, lower the hips down, hug the knees in towards the chest, stretching out the glutes. <sighs> nice deep breath and then I want you to lower the feet down and come onto your side line your back up with the back edge of the mat making sure you're in a straight line your head is resting in your hands knees are bent and take that top hip push it a little bit further away so that your hips are stacked there's a gap underneath your waist in the mat and then we're going to exhale, lift, abducting the top leg. Inhale, lower it back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So we're working on the glute med, the glute min, strengthening those muscles that often get neglected, unless you do Pilates. Drawing the belly button in towards the spine, keeping that core connection, slight tuck under of the pelvis. Okay. Let's go for another three, two, one. Hold it up, extend that leg, bend it back in. Inhale, extend, create length. Exhale, bend it back in. Very good. So keeping that good form, hip is pressed away, keeping the gap between the mat, belly button to spine. Let's go for another four, three, two, one, bend it in, lower the knee, exhale, lift, 
inhale, extend, exhale, bend, inhale, lower. So we're combining the two movements. Following your breath, slow and controlled. Stay with me, it's starting to burn. I can feel it too. And depending on how heavy your band is, you will feel it more. Okay, let's go for another two. Last one. Hold it up, hold it extended, circles forward. Last three, two, one, circles backward. Four, three, two, one. Bend it in, pulses up. Little pulses up, burning it out yet. It's burning so bad. Four, three, two, one. Lower it down, tap out the glute. was that burned okay I want you to come up now into a plank so start in your four-point kneeling position hands under shoulders knees under hips you're going to take the feet back press back into your plank now our plank isn't supposed to look pretty I want you to tuck that pelvis under pressing the floor away with the hands rib to hip connection squeezing the glutes engaging the core we're going to Tap out with the left leg, bring it back in. Tap out with the right leg and bring it back in. So the only thing that is moving here is your legs. You're keeping that upper body stable. You're keeping the hips stable and level. Let's go for another three. Well, not three, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in. I want you to shift over towards the right, lift the arm up towards the ceiling. You're in your side plank, lower the hips, lift them back up. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift. Stay with me, we're almost there. Let's do one more, lift it back up. Take the hand back down, find your plank, take it to the other side, lower the hips lift inhale lower exhale lift squeezing the obliques ipsilateral obliques same side obliques last two last one take the hand back down pressing back to your plank take the knees down press back to your shell stretch and then when you're ready Stack your vertebra, rolling up to seated. And we get to do the sideline work all on the other side. Okay. I did say this class would be quick and effective. Okay, so line your back up with the back edge of the mat. Knees are bent. Push that top hip away. Gap underneath your waist in the mat. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Belly button to spine. Make sure that when you are lifting that knee up, you're not opening up the hip. So you're working with your own hip mobility. If you can only lift your, abduct your leg that much or that much, that's okay. I just don't want you losing that good form, pelvic placement. Last two. Last one, lift it up, extend, bend. Hold it here. You're holding your leg up in an isometric hold, working the glute med and the glute min, and also the glute max. Last four, three, two, create length through the leg. One, bend it in, lower the leg down. Exhale, lift, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend, inhale, lower. Follow your breath. Keep that good form. Press that top hip away. It's easy to just lose that form and feel like you're lying on the beach because your leg is getting tired. Let's go for another three, two. Last one, and you know what's coming. Circles forward. Last two, 
last one backwards four three two one bend it in little pulses up finish it out here finishing it out strong little exhales four three two one tap out that hip wow i'm tired after that okay you're gonna come back into your plank four point kneeling position and then you're gonna take your feet back coming into your plank slight tuck under of the pelvis ribs hip connection core engage pressing up out of the shoulders i want you to exhale lift that right leg inhale lower so you are extending that leg at the hip exhale lift engaging that glute the rest of the body is still no rocking in the hips upper body stable strong core work last two last one lower the knees down take that band from around the legs we're going to put it around the upper arm finish off with some push-ups maybe i'll throw in some back work I'll see how i feel after the push-ups Make sure my mic is okay. Don't want that to get in the way. Okay, so it's around your upper arm. You're gonna press back to your plank, your high plank or half plank. And then you're gonna inhale, lower down into your push up. Exhale, lift it back up. Keeping that core connection. Go at your level. I'm gonna have to drop to my knees soon. I am not good at push-ups. Lift. Okay, let's go for another four. Last three. Two. Last one. Press back to the shell. Take that band off. And you know what? Let's finish off with a little bit of back work. Because we've come this far, class is nearly over. Let's just finish it out here strong. I'm gonna take my mic off. Now lower down into a prone position so you're on your tummy. Take the band around your wrists, behind your back. Lower the forehead down to the mat. I want you to create a slight tuck under of the pelvis engaging the core sliding the ribs down towards the hips create tension on that band so you're pulling apart you're going to inhale lift extending the back lifting the arms up gaze towards the mat or just forward of the mat so you're not hyper extending in the neck exhale lower inhale lift extend the back feeling extension of the spine you are using your spinal extensors to do this work i want you to think about those back muscles peeling the chest off the mat keep that tension on the band last four three two one keep up here in extension pull that band apart little exhales as you pull that band apart last five four three two one release take that band off then press back to a shell stretch a nice counter stretch for the spine we are finished with the band work okay i want you to bring the left leg now between your hands lowering down making sure the hips are square pressing up 
finding length, lowering down, finding a nice pigeon, nice stretch in the glute. Take the hips down to the side. And then we're going to bend in that right leg. I want you to turn your body, turn your torso towards the left leg, lengthen the spine, lower down, then fold over that left leg. Lifting back up, take that left arm up and over, followed by the right arm. Perfect. Release that. We're going to switch to the other side, coming into our pigeon. Right leg this time is bent between the hands, lifting up, extending the spine, lowering down, folding over that leg, feeling a nice stretch in the glute. Lowering the hips down, coming down into your mermaid position, turn to face the right leg, lengthen the spine, coming down and then folding over. Lifting up again, take the right arm up and over, lateral flexion of the spine, and then the left arm up and over. Release that, come back up to seated. And that's it for today's class, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this one with the mini band. If you have, please give this video a like. Comment down below, let me know how you did. And if you would like to see more videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe down below as it really supports my channel and I really appreciate it. I hope that I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.